Your girl got a new palette. Uh. <laughs> I guess I really don't know what Christmas is all about. <laughs> uh. I don't know how I'm gonna start this. Um, makeup. And I'm gonna show you guys some old makeup and some new makeup. So, as far as old makeup goes, I'm gonna show you, I guess the beauty palettes from, well, no. I'm gonna show you beauty palettes, one that I always use, and then some other stuff that I don't use regularly, but I'm gonna probably use more since I've been playing around with some makeup. So, first things first, this palette, Brown Sugar Palette by Karuchi and ColourPop. I love this palette. I use this palette all the time. I'm surprised it's not out. But yeah, I love this one. I use it like every day. And then my second go-to is another ColourPop, X's and O's. I use a lot of ColourPop palettes. And this is the colors in this one. Yep. And the one that I use like okay, more than often, if I don't use those other two, is this one and the colors in this one this is also karuchi the other one the x's and o's wasn't this one is and it's she so she at the bottom too i don't know and it's like more pinks and like rosy colors so i don't wear this one that often i like the other ones because they're more they're more browns and golds and they suit me they suit me better and so next um I have a contour. I used to use MAC a lot. I still kind of do, but that was my contour. And it's in the color 7.5. So that was my color. That is my color. And Match Master SPF Foundation. And this, I love this. I used to wear this a lot in the winter. I need to go back to wearing this. And it is in the shade 9.0. And then the other thing that I love, 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 and I'm going to wear this more, is Strobe Cream Hydrate. And I love this because what did it have in it? And this is in the color Peach Light. Like, they come in different colors. I like this, this color a lot more. It had um, antioxidants in it, and that was one of the things, the reasons why I got it. Yeah. Other than that, I really didn't know what I was doing back then, but definitely love this. I have another one of this too, and it's just like, you know, and it's like original color, but they came out with color, so this was the one that I got. The other, the other thing that I absolutely love is, and I'm gonna go back to using, and this is like not really makeup, it's more skincare, but it's Claudel, and I got it from Sephora, Claudel Paris, sorry. And I got it because it was in this limited edition color. Um, and it's grape water. Girls and boys, people in general, whoever's watching. This was the best product I ever had. Best product, best product, hands down. I love, I'm gonna use more of their products if I have the money for it. And I just, I love this. And it was for sensitive skin too. Not that I have sensitive skin, but it was for sensitive skin. And what else does it have in it? So it says 100% 100, 100 organic grapes, per, preservation free, against animal testing, fragrance free, and no need to blot after spraying. So yeah, I'm also still using the Heritage, but I might just end up blending the two of these since there's still some left in there. Next what I use, well, don't use, but I need to get a new shade because this isn't my shade, is the MAC Studio Fix. And because one of my cousins told me powder was better than liquid. Um, so I need to get a new color. This was too dark for me. I got this in the summer. That was my mistake. So yeah. Next thing that I don't use, but probably I, I, might, I might go back to using it, might not. Um, is the Urban Decay eyeshadow primer. I started using the Fenty one instead and I like the Fenty one a lot more. And then 
I think this is my last MAC product and this is just a blush. This is in the color Fever and it's matte and I just, I love this color on me. It really popped up my skin. Yeah. Next uh, is a brush that I have and as you can tell I use and it's Morphe and if you want to find this brush anywhere it is a M321 if that means anything to anyone. So these are some other like stuff that I do use but that I'm going to be using a lot more too and it's this Fenty Beauty highlight. It's uh this one I think it's yeah it's Trophy Wife and I'm going to be using that one a lot more and then I found this one. I have like a little drawer that has all my makeup in it. I need to like clean it out because it has some really old makeup in it. And I was cleaning it out and I found this. And it was from the Selena Matte Collection and I never used it before. But I'm going to start using it again now. That's my cat's tail. He's sitting in my lap. But yeah. Okay. On to some other products that I'm going to be using. So next what I'm going to be using. Go ahead, get down. Sorry, that was me talking to my cat. Okay. Next products that I am excited to be using is Huda. Am I saying that right? Huda Beauty. And this is a lip contour. And this is in the color Vixen. Can't wait to use this. I usually always stick to MAC. And I always got the color Chestnut. Or I would use Cork. Which Cork uh, would sometimes be too light on me. Depending on what I mixed it with. But yeah. So I'm excited to use a new a new uh, uh, lip liner. Even though it's not what it's called. It's called a lip contour. But that seems like the same thing to me. Yeah. The, yeah, lip, lip pencil. Yeah. Next what I'm excited to use and I've heard good things about is the Too Faced Born This Way and it is a multi-use sculpting concealer. I'm so excited to use this <laughs> and it's in the shade Spice Rum. I don't know. The girl helped me pick it out. I'm not really good at picking out my shades. I always have to help the people have the people help me but yeah point is I'm so excited to use this and I didn't know this. I'm so excited. I need to like calm down. Um it is infused with coconut oil, not coconut oil, sorry, my bad, coconut water, alkaline rose, which I, I know if you're like me, you don't know what that is. So it helps empower skin's health and resilience, as well as hydraulic acid. Hydraulic acid is like the best thing for skin. Like it mo keeps it moisturized and just luscious and just good good like stuff in hydraulic acid and so it says here it gives a smoother more youthful appearance i don't know people tell me i look like 19 i'm really not 19 i'm like i'm 25 yeah if you didn't hear um you don't need to know about that um so yeah i'm excited to use this and then we have so like i said those were my main three go-to palettes <laughs> your girl got a new palette Ah! <laughs> I got the the nude rich Huda Beauty palette. I'm sorry if like that noise was very annoying. It might have been annoying to me. And I love these shades. I can't wait to use them. I don't even know the names of them, but we we gonna find out as I do this makeup video tomorrow. And I'm excited. I wasn't excited before, but I'm excited now. I'm gonna try, guys. I'm gonna try and do a full beat. You guys are just, you guys are gonna love it. You guys are gonna love it. And then last, no, this isn't even the last thing. This is like third to last, is I got Huda Beauty Demi Matte. Um, the makeup tutorial that I'm following, I wanted to like make it like for someone of my complexion, even though like she's not, She's not that much lighter than me, but she's a little bit lighter than me. But still, I feel like this, the girl told me this would look good. So if it doesn't look good, blame the girl, not me. Well, I mean, you can blame me because I bought it, but if you don't like it, oh well, oh well, I, I like it. So I'm the one that has to wear it. Next, <laughs> next. Oh my goodness, if my sisters watch this, they're going to be like, Helena, girl, because I, 
All right. I love my eyebrows, but eyebrows are like the hardest thing for me to do. And my younger sister has mastered the form of eyebrows. I'll throw in like a picture to show you guys uh, what her eyebrows look like. And then I also have like my other sister that knows how to do a full beat. And then my cousin that knows how to do a full, full beat. So I'm just like, wow, there's like a lot of expectations on this. Like, I don't know if I'll be able to follow this, but I'm gonna try and follow this tutorial because I'm 25. I need to learn how to do makeup. So <laughs> yeah, cause I, I don't know if I said this in a previous video, but I didn't learn how to do makeup until I was in college. I was like freshman, maybe sophomore in college, and I was learning just how to do my eyeliner correctly and how to put on eyeshadow correctly. I don't think I mastered that until like this year of how to put on eyeshadow correctly. Like I would go like just like my like just the, just the eyelid. I wouldn't like put it all the way up. So your girl's learning. Your girl's learning. And then last but not least is one of the things that I love and yes it is in the package just because I like keeping it in the package because I bought a mini one before I bought this one but I lost the mini one so now I have this one and it is the what is this Fenty Beauty I think it's called gloss bomb yeah that's what it's called I just call it lips lip, uh, not lipstick but lip gloss but it's it's gloss bomb and I love this color. I love this shade and it makes my lips so luscious. Actually, I'll put some on right now too because my lips probably need it, but yeah. Yep. Comment down below if you <laughs> think this is a good video, weird video, whatever you have it. But um, that's it for today. I'm now gonna film the next video, so be sure to check that out, leave a comment, like, subscribe, and remember to keep chasing your sunshine.